Can you decipher a menu? Well, today I'm gonna to show you two restaurant items made with chicken and pasta that sound very similar, but you might be surprised at the calorie difference. I'm Susan Bowerman, registered dietitian, and you know, learning how to read a menu carefully is so important when you're trying to eat well or manage your weight. So today I'm gonna to show you two dishes that I picked up from my local restaurant that sound very similar. One's called penne with chicken and the other one's called Caribbean chicken with penne and spices. So it sounds pretty similar on the menu, but let's look at the description. This dish over here is described as having chicken, asparagus, mushrooms, sun-dried tomatoes, marsala cream sauce, and a dusting of Parmesan cheese. The other dish is called chicken with penne, and it's described as having asparagus and tomatoes, and mushrooms, and it's dusted with some herbs and some spices. So they're similar in ingredients, but quite different when you start to look at the calorie count. My penne with chicken dish clocks in at almost 1,900 calories. A lot of it, of course, is coming from the cream sauce. That should be your tip-off. The portion size is pretty good, but it's also giving you 23 teaspoons of fat. Now the Marsala cream sauce, as it was described on the menu, we know is gonna add some calories because it's creamy and it's rich. But the other thing is the dish is called penne with chicken, which indicates that there's a lot more penne than chicken. And if you look at these two plates, you can see that that's true. So even though we have asparagus in both dish and mushrooms in both dishes, there's a big difference in terms of how much starch and fat we have in this dish. My Caribbean chicken and penne has similar ingredients, asparagus, mushrooms, chicken, penne. It has tomatoes and it has some herbs and spices rather than the cream sauce. It's really not that much different than the size of the portion in my other chicken dish. And this chicken dish here has only 569 calories. It's significantly less. It only has 20 grams of fat, that's four teaspoons, versus the 23 we had in the other dish. One of the other things I want you to notice is there's an ample amount of chicken here. This dish has 49 grams of protein, which is plenty for a meal. But the other thing you'll notice is it has a little bit less of the starch of the pasta, and it has more of the vegetables. And that's just such a great way to give you more volume without having a lot of extra calories, is you know, decrease the fat, decrease the starch a little bit, pump up the vegetables. So when you look at these two dishes and when you're looking at your menus, one of the things is to look carefully at your descriptions. If you see cream sauces, if you th see things that are battered or fried, you kind of know what's gonna tip you off to high calories. It's always your choice when you're going out to a restaurant, but I think it's best to go and be informed. If you decide that you really want this creamy dish, just know how much you're eating, know how many calories you're eating, how much fat you're eating. Maybe you save it for a special occasion or you share with a friend, but know that oftentimes there are healthier options.